Hello, I'm Luke Sison. I'm the director of the Fitzwilliam Museum. And I'm delighted to say that we're getting ready to reopen our doors to the public. We've been working very hard to get everything spick and span, ready for our visitors to return. And we've got some exciting things to show you. Um, new acquisitions that we've been making um, of contemporary art, but especially two really thrilling and thought-provoking exhibitions devoted to two of our most fundamental senses. To touch, something that has become so topical and interesting at this moment. So the exhibition, The Human Touch, looks at the way in which we've made works of art and the way in which we leave traces. And then Sent from Nature uh, examines our botanical collection to think about, about fragrance. Entry to the museum will be by time ticket only. This is so we can reduce the number of visitors to each gallery and maintain social distancing. Tickets are free and can be booked on our website. You'll need to wear a face covering throughout your time in the museum. This does not apply to children under the age of 11 and those with health, disability or other exemptions. If you visit the cafe, you will be able to remove your face covering while enjoying your refreshments. To get around the collection safely, follow the one-way route within each gallery. All you have to do is stay left and move clockwise keeping a two metre distance between yourself and any person not in your household. Some staircases are also one way. Look out for the arrows on the floor and signage to help you. The galleries and facilities are being frequently cleaned and all of our staff will be wearing face coverings. Hand sanitizer stations are located at regular intervals. Finally, if you're feeling unwell or live with someone displaying symptoms of COVID-19, please delay your visit. We'll welcome you back soon. All the measures we're putting in place are designed to ensure the safety of all of our visitors and our staff. Of course, we're going to be listening carefully to government guidance to make sure that we respond as that changes. But in the meantime, I'd like to say thank you and look forward to seeing you soon.